Okay, big day for the truck today. Uh, topper's getting put on it. So I'm actually running a little late right now. So I'm gonna get some time caught up and then I'll catch you guys when I'm at the topper dealer. Topper will not be looking like that high, but I'll give you guys the specs after uh, it's on. And then tonight we're gonna spend the first night with the topper. We have arrived at Radco. So I'm gonna go inside and talk to him and then I'm gonna take the truck back and get her on. Um, oh yeah, brother. All right, the topper's on. I'm gonna get my genuine reaction when I see it for the first time. Ooh. Damn. Oh my God, dude. Damn. Here she is. Oh my God. Whew. Looking good. So uh, I'm gonna go to a car wash, wash the truck a little bit, and then I'll meet you guys when I'm at the house so I can go through the specs of the topper and whatnot, and then can even get a bed in the back and spend the night. She's all clean. Okay, so I just picked up this like bed for my grandpa. And I gotta like cut it down a few inches so uh can fit in the bed of my truck. That did not cut all the way through, so uh gonna have to hand saw it. Next step is uh, just getting those, this thing off and then we're good to go. We can just put it back on and then it should match up. That'll be good. So, uh, let's load her up in the bed and then, uh, get packed up for tonight. Yeah, it's like barely squeezing in there. So, uh, but first, let's see how it actually holds up with, uh, Big Tom in here. Not too bad. Let's get the truck all packed up and ready for the for the night. I'll show you guys what we're cooking tonight. Some chow mein or whatever. But it's still about uh, three, four o'clock. So we still have a little bit of time to kill. So I'm gonna go make some baits. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. Um, so any of the baits that are on the screen right now will be up for the giveaway. Or you can go on over to byronsbaits.com and look on what I have. To enter this giveaway, you have to like and subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram, and then DM me on Instagram saying that you did all. And then you might be the one that wins. But back to the bait making.
Let's go truck camping. The spot I'm going to tonight is like right on the lake. We should have a lake view of, a, of the sunset. We're gonna be cooking that uh, noodles I showed you guys earlier. But I'll see you guys when we arrive at the beautiful scenic lake. We're sleeping right here tonight, but for right now, let's get some uh, noodles cooking. Why don't we? So I actually don't know how to make this, but I'm pretty sure you just boil water and then pour it in there and then boom, you have some noodles that you can eat. Well, it says you have to have a microwave, and I don't have a microwave out here. So I think I'm just gonna pour this stuff into the pot and let water boil. Should do the same thing, right? We're gonna make it do the same thing, anyway. Last time I used a stove, I was doing that uh, soft plastic making video. And the stove got pretty nasty. sauce packet in there. Add a few of these. Oh yeah, that should be plenty. Here's our utensils. Smells really good actually. It's a little longer though. Oh yeah. I'm gonna drain a little bit of a little bit of this broth out. I'm not much of a broth guy, I don't really want to spill any in the back of the truck. Not bad, not bad. Woo. Here's what we're going with. That is not half bad. Not half bad. So I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere and then give you a review of this noodle ramen thing. All right, let's get a review. Some good stuff, man. And I don't think I said that, or I don't know if I've said this, but this is a Lear 180 mid-rise topper. And I'm 6'3", but like, I mean, there's not a lot of headroom if you sit all the way up, but if you're like hunched over a little bit, you can sit up pretty good. I got some removable glass, like this folds down and I can take this out. And then the cap part has a slider. Um. So there's like these little things on the side. I'm gonna hang some cargo nets on. And then I also have a light right there. I'll show you guys. So it lights, it lights up pretty good. Bad dude. 
foot in the world. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, there's one more bite. Cleaned out as much as I could. And man, that was freaking good. So, uh, don't know what I'm gonna do next, but this is so relaxing. And compared to the other videos I've done, like where I'm not, like I'm sleeping in the in the cab. Oh my gosh, dude. Laying down is like so freaking nice. Mother Nature, like she, she's very beautiful sometimes, but sometimes she can be pretty nasty. Well, that was really freaking beautiful. But, um, I think I'm gonna, gonna go relax for a little more. This is a really, this video is very relaxing to film, if you guys are wondering. Cause just pull up to a spot, watch the sunset, eat some food. Yeah. If you guys would love, if you guys would like to see more of this stuff, I'd love to film it. So many geese around here. Well, I'm gonna park actually right here next to the water. And then, I'm gonna enjoy this, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, no one's getting it on that side. And then first, actually, let me brush my teeth. Freaking fish just jumped right there. And then let's hop in the bed. <clears throat> Don't wanna step on the drone. Slip off the kicks and uh, package that thing up. Voila! Ready for bed, man. Watching a beautiful sunset in the comfort of a bed. Oh my gosh. The big reason I wanted to do this is I thought it was so cool that you could literally camp almost anywhere and be in like your own secluded space without anyone else around you, like in your area, like in your enclosed area. There's gonna be people around you, obviously. Uh, topper was a light. And man, that freaking lights up good. A lot better than I expected. Not bad at all.
Okay, it's like 10 right now. I was just been kind of watching YouTube, honestly. But uh, I want to throw in the towel for the night. No. Go to bed. So I want to see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Slept pretty good last night. These guys are probably gonna be like, what the heck? Seven, like, when I woke up, it was like seven on the dot, seven a.m. Not freaking bad. Oh, well, I gotta go pack. Whoa. Almost took a tumble. I'm gonna go pack up my stuff. I don't have to pack up too much. It's kind of nice about truck camping. I brush my teeth. I'm gonna get out of here. It looks so freaking sick. I can't get over it. So this was what the setup looked like last night. Just sleeping right there. It got pretty moist inside of the truck camper or the topper, but I'm pretty sure that happens. You can see it right there. So I'm gonna have to seal that up right there. And then, other than that, I have no really big complaints. It's everything I ever wanted. Uh, it's gonna be a lot better than it is right now because this was just a temporary temporary thing Got that that bed is like old as heck man. That thing is older than me My grandpa used to use it when he was drag racing. I think I don't know could have been camping She's freaking pretty, man. So, uh, you guys, if you guys like this story content, you're gonna see more. And if you don't, that sucks. But, if you guys like to support the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the business, go on over to byronsbaits.com and pick up some soft plastic lures. Make sure to enter that giveaway that I mentioned earlier in this video. DM me on Instagram after you've done all. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.